Hello guys and this is the 16th tutorial of the series and today I want to go over foliage mode and making trees in speed tree. So first of all you're going to want to open up uh, speed tree which you can find in your start menu. Just go to all programs, scroll down, go to Unreal Development Kit and then go to the version that you've got. I'm using the October version 2011 at the moment. Go to tools and then go to uh, Speed Tree Modeler. I'll show you how to use uh, Speed Tree Compiler later once we finish modeling our tree. Or you, alternatively, you can just find uh, find it in the binaries folder under UDK. But this way it's a lot quicker, so I'm just going to do it like that. So to start off making a new tree, you're going to want to press File, New, and you'll have this little uh, viewport here of uh, where you're going to be making your tree and you've got the generation window here and you've got all your settings up here that you're going to need to worry about okay to start off you want to right click on the tree up in the generation window and then you can choose either trunks roots leaves hand-drawn fonds or branches most trees start with like roots but I don't really want any because you won't be able to see under the ground and that's not the sort of map I'm working on. So I'm just going to go with a trunk at the moment and I'm going to do the standard just for the purpose of the video. I'm going to make everything standard. And now I'm going to add some leaves. So I've got to add two selected. Leaves. Standard RT. Sorry about that. I should have made some branches first because now it just doesn't look right. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then we're going to add two selected branches, level one standard, and add two selected, level two standard. And we have the basis of our tree, but we need to get some leaves on there now. So just I'm going to right click on here, press zoom all, and I'm going to add some leaves to each of the different levels of branches. So add two selected leaves, and then I'm just going to add standard and then I'm gonna go find this one add sorry add to selected leaves level 2 wait there isn't level 2 leaves uh. so now we've got a tree but as you'll see the leaves aren't looking too good at the moment so we're gonna need to add a material to the leaves so to add a new material just add it up here you can make your own like target file format um, image uh, textures that you can use in speed tree but I'm just gonna use one of the default preset ones so I'm just gonna go with the sample leaves one also I'm going to import a material for my trunk so you can't have the default one because it doesn't look too good broadleaf bark okay now to add it in so select the trunk or the leaves whatever you're trying to do first I'm going to do the leaves uh, trunk to start off so I'm going to go down I'm going to find I'm going to find my branch in the materials choose materials it's only going to show the materials that you have added already so I'm just going to press that now if I zoom in you'll see I've got a material on there so I'm going to do the same with the uh, branches. So if I go down, materials, branch, broadleaf bark, and do the same with the other ones. Okay, then you want to select your leaves, and you want to go, let's see if I can find it, you want to go to leaves, type, material, sample leaves, and you'll see you can see the uh, leaves there the same as I did uh, two lots of leaves that's not all of them so I need to do those ones as well material sample leaves and you've got a tree that looks fairly decent now so now I'm going to show you how to build your collision so you want to go to tools generate, generate collision primitives so the character can't walk into your tree so I'm just going to give it that a second and it's now finished generating this collision and these little pink uh, rings is where your character can't walk into so you, you're going to want to go to file save as I've already made a folder in my UDK content and I've called it speed trees and I'm going to save it here I'm going to call it tutorial tree so 
no, yeah. I'm just gonna call it Tut Tree. And we'll press save. Okay, with that done, you can close the speed tree modeler. Now we're gonna have to go to the speed tree compiler, which is in the same place, speed tree compiler. And here you've just got the basic setup wizard, so I'm gonna press add trees and find the one that I made just uh, previously. You see my UDK speed trees, and then press open, next. You want to leave all of this default really here, and then just press finish. And then under here, you're going to want to press merge into textures if you did the billboard uh, option on on the uh, setup wizard. And you you might want to change your file name prefix by over here. So I'm just going to call it Tut Tree. And press enter and then you want to start compilation you can either press F7 or just press the button here and then I'm going to press compile and I'm going to give it a second to finish rendering and I'm just going to open my output folder to make sure it's in the right place it's on my desktop speed tree trees it will automatically make a folder there it will so you will have these four files here that's the only ones that you need to worry about so once you've done that you want to close that you want to go to all programs and open up your UDK editor again and I'm going to show you how to import it into UDK and set up the materials okay with UDK open you're going to want to go to your uh, content browser it's going to move that along here import I'm going to find the files on my desktop speed tree trees I'm just going to go all over all of them or you can just control click each of them and it will select all four and then I'm just going to change the package name to tut trees and press ok to all or you can just press ok and go and change the name for the uh, all four different files separately but I don't, you don't really need to do that and you'll have your speed tree and three other textures so with your broadly broadleaf bark texture uh, selected you want to create new material gonna, and then and it's going to have it in the same package because you can't uh, put a texture onto a speed tree so then I'm going to go to edit using material editor and I'm going to move this that over and I'm going to hook up diffuse to the black one here and you'll have your branch material just going to press cancel make sure you always apply changes to anything you do with that and then you're going to want to do the same with the with the tut tree diffuse I'm just going to edit using material editor but this time we're not going to be doing we're going to be doing the same but we're going to add a little more into it so I'm just going to hook up the fuse with that and make sure you change your blending mode to masked uh, and you'll see that opacity mask will be uh, white now so you can use it so when you do something in here make sure you always apply changes done here then with the te with this texture here selected you want to minimize that you want to, you want to go to texture and then add in a texture sample as I've done you want to hook that up with normal and then you want to go to maths then new add I'm just going to move this over here and you're going to want to hook this up to opacity mask and you get an error up the top here because I'm put the inputs in here so I'm going to hook up A with there and I'm going to add a new constant vertex color then press B and then put that into B so 
if I close that apply changes and I'm going to show you how to put that onto your speed tree so you go back to that folder that we had before you want to as you, if you just put your speed tree into the game you will see it's got no material on it so I'm just going to delete that I'm going to go to edit using speed tree editor select your branch material and I'm going to press that uh, the first time you press it, it it will take about 10 20 seconds uh, which varies depending on how fast your computer is and there we go and then do the same with branch 2 and then you want to add in your touch tree diffuse material into leaf card mesh and that will take a second as well as seeing as it's the first time you're uh, using that material the leaf card mesh uh, will take slightly longer as it's a bit more advanced okay and then we put that in there and there and you'll see you have your trees but the leaves aren't looking too great at the moment if you just add that in and I'll show you why as you'll see they're all like square leaves and you don't want that so I'm just gonna go to go back to this material edit using material editor break all links B you want go you want that to go to there apply changes give that a second and then you want to re-import it into your speed tree okay with that with the uh, changes applied you will see you now have a decent looking tree also you'll see that it has working collision if I try walking into it I can't do so or let's say I'm just gonna make it bigger to make it look slightly more realistic I surround the proper size for a tree and if I go up top play from here uh, you just fall straight through the leaves and you'll see here these sun shafts go straight through there okay now I want to show you foliage mode with UDK so to get to foliage mode just press this little uh, button up here and here you can paint meshes uh, onto your terrain and you can change the density, the brush size so I'm just going to show you an example of that I'm going to go, go to all assets I'm going to type in tree Sorry. and I'm going to look for a static mesh, you can't use speed trees for this so you're, going, so you're going to want to make a static mesh in 3ds max if you want to make your own but I'm just going to use the presets just to show you so I'm going to want a bunch of tobacco plants in, so I'm just going to double click to fully load it there we go I'm going to put that down in there you can add more than one it's going to double click to fully load that and you'll see you've got that tree there as well so now with that minimized you can just control click and it will go on the first time you start painting it will take a second or two it shouldn't be too long as you'll see there's a whole load of trees here and you've got the 
little plants that I put down there as well. You can change the density if you want. There is a see, whole bunch of trees. Now I'm just going to turn down the density slightly. And now it's not as dense. Or if you want it something that you can relatively walk through. Uh, there you go. I'm just going to go back into camera mode. If I press play. You've got like a forest of a bunch of plants, etc. in here. You can move around and this is where they I had the highest density and you can see that pretty well. And then I changed the density as I went around here. As you'll see.